All right, hey, here's Omega here, and uh, so it, I've got 35,000 miles on my Rav4 Prime, and uh, I'm gonna do a tire rotation. And so the, it, for this video, we're gonna test fit the uh, the Evo 8 wheel. All right, I just grabbed one from the backyard. So if you guys remember in a previous video a couple months ago, I bought a set of Evo 8 wheels for a hundred dollars from some dude in San Francisco. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, it was so cheap, a hundred dollars. Uh, I've been shopping and shopping. Sometimes I'll find some for maybe six hundred. Uh, I can't believe it. I bought a set a while back for like two hundred bucks or something. It was really, really cheap. I just found it at a Yantera, man, uh, uh, one of those Mexican tire shops. They had them there. I said, hey, I'll buy those. And I, I just threw them in my van and I took them and I sold them later to some guys that used them for the track, you know. I think they were going to put them on an RX-7 or something, or RX-8, I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, so today we're going to go test fit to see if the wheel fits. It's still got the tires on it. Uh, what tire is this? 235, 45, 17. That's definitely not the right size for this vehicle. All right. Um, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, well, we're just going to see if it fits well. This should be a 5 by 114.3. And it's a, yeah, it's a 5 lug. All right. And it's a 17.8, um, 17, 17 by 8 uh, whim. Okay. And uh, I think the offset is like 30 something. Well, we'll take a look at the back of the wheel before. But anyway, I gotta rotate my tires left to right, all right, and then and then the next 5,000 miles we go front and back, all right. So, um, so yeah. Uh, and so since I'm taking the wheels off, we can go test fit the wheel, okay? So that's what we'll do. I think what Hayes Meg is gonna do, since I got such a good deal on these wheels, I'm gonna see if I can have a wheel shop refurbish them or repair them, all right? Because they're in pretty bad shape. I mean, they cosmetically they're in really bad shape. And uh, just trying to find like one or two is it costs more than like a hundred bucks for some reason I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, these are kind of hard to find. So no, I don't mind. I don't mind if it's a little banged up, but yeah, I do mind if it's a lot banged up. <laughs> All right. But yeah, yeah. I'm planning to maybe. Uh, I'm planning to maybe uh, uh, get them powder coated, uh, like a gunmetal color. Right now they're silver. All right, that's the stock color for the Evo. So I, I'd like to go with the gunmetal color. The, the, the NK T6R is the wheel that I wanted to get. It looks very similar to this wheel, and it comes in the gunmetal color, right? But it's like a thousand bucks. So if I can if I can fix these wheels for less than a thousand bucks, I'll be happy. Okay, if they look brand new and they'll be the the gunmetal color. I've also got the stickers. We can take let's take a look at the stickers real quick. Okay, I ordered these from a seller on eBay. All right, and uh, here's what they look like. All right, uh, they're in UK. All right, they came from UK. Some guy in UK makes these, um, and they're stick. They're NK stickers. They're, they're brand new stickers, just like the ones that are on the rim right now. Right, they're they're a replica Evo 8. And it's like a full sticker you stick on there, and they say it's good. It'll last a long, long time. All right, uh, I've noticed a lot of the the stickers they fade on the wheels over time. All right, so you can see. You can see this wheel. We'll take a look at it. The I think the blue is starting to fade on the sticker on this one. So we'll we'll do like a full restoration if we if I have to uh, um, if I have to get the wheels uh, like uh, painted a different color or powder coated a different color, then then you're gonna have to put a new sticker. All right, so, so and I could probably just give them the sticker and they'll put them on for me too. So um, there's that also. So yeah, so I think this will look great on this. Um, but we'll take a look at it when we get it on there. All right. So uh, yeah, let me let me get it on there and then uh, do the thing. guys I got the wheel off um, let's go let's go check out the back of this wheel before we put it on I know we I did it in the last video but we'll do it again all right so like I mentioned this wheel should be a 17 by 8 and it should be 5 by 114 we'll find out when we get it on there we'll see if the lug nuts fit too it should fit with a stock lug nut you look very similar to a spider hey buddy you can't hang out in there man 
Yeah. <laughs> that dude just took off. Um, all right. Uh, all right here. Uh, 17 by 8. Uh, I think it, it's uh, plus 38. That's the offset, all right? I, can, I, I know you guys can't see it. Okay. It says Mitsubishi. I know it's upside down. Mitsubishi. Okay. Uh, seven, J, 17 by 8. All right. JJ, 38. I think that means plus 38 offset. Okay. So I think this should fit pretty good. All right. I think that's similar to what this... Let's see what the stock wheel is real quick. I like... I actually kind of like this wheel. I'm... I don't mind keeping it, is what I'm gonna say. All right, so this is an 18 by seven. So this is actually narrower than other wheels. So guys, I don't know why they put such narrow wheels. To get better gas mileage, I guess. So this is a set, this is 18 by seven, but it's a plus 35 offset. So these actually stick out more, okay? But those ones are wider. So the other one has to go, it has to go in more. Right, yeah, or else it won't poke out as much. But hopefully it'll fit. That's why that's why we're installing it to see what it looks like. <laughs> All right, see how well it fits if it if it interferes with anything. Okay, Hayes Vegas, go ahead and uh, install it, and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, guys. So uh, okay, one thing we're gonna have to get is we're gonna have to get a. Uh, um, a centering uh, centering ring all right hub centric rings that go on the thing because check this out okay it moves a lot <laughs> it doesn't stay in there right so um, I will go measure the uh, the bore all right the 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 bore for the uh, for the rotor for the hot the rear hub and then the bore for the um, for the wheel all right so we know how much we're off I, I know you can probably look that stuff up online too, so. All right, so, but anyway, it's on there. Uh, let's, let me gun it on first. Okay, there we go guys, massive wheel gap. One thing I did notice is that the wheel was lighter when I installed it, okay? Um, yeah, uh, I think this still has some tread on it. It still has a decent amount of tread left on it, I wanna say, so. Yeah, uh, so this wheel will be lighter. Well, obviously it's lighter because this is smaller wheel, it's a 17. But there it is, that's what it looks like. All right, all it's on there, I like it. Looks sweet. It looks like it needs a bigger tire, though. <laughs> yeah. So obviously the tire is way too small for it. Um, there's plenty of clearance for the rear rotor. I'm I'm interested to see what the front one looks like when we put it in there. There's plenty of clearance right here. Still. All right. There's you can see in the wheel a lot too. It's pretty nice. All right. There it is. It fit, the bolt pattern is fine. All right. So five by one fourteen dot three is what these are. All right, and it fit, it fits perfectly. It, the stock lug nuts for the um, Toyota Rav4 Prime also are compatible with the Mitsubishi wheel. Okay, so cool. Yeah, it all fits except the 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 hub. All right, the hub is the centering hub is different. So we're gonna have to figure that out. I will I will take it out and we'll go measure it right now. Then I'll rotate the tires and then we'll put this on the front. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna go measure the uh, the hub diameter. Okay, we're gonna do it in uh, millimeters. Okay, the outer diameter of the hub. Okay, I've got a uh, fifty-nine point nine two millimeters. Pretty much sixty. can't go like this. So. Okay, I'll try it one more time. I'll look down the center. It's 
it's got a step to it too. 59.49 60 millimeter. All right, so let's just say let's just call that 60. We'll round up a little bit. So it's got a 60 millimeter hub, and I will I will verify this on the computer later. But I want to. This is the experiment portion, guys. <laughs> okay, right. so I'm gonna put prime rear hub equals 60 millimeter. Okay. Okay, so this is the okay. stock wheel. This should be 60 millimeters. I don't know why they don't just tell you. Ooh, it's kind of gonna be hard to check with this. Okay, we gotta use the good old ruler here, all right guys? Oh, I don't even think this is gonna work either. Uh, but it's in millimeters. What I'll do is I'll try to bisect it. And I'll just kind of look at it. And I'll line it up. 11 and 17. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. 60, mil, 60 millimeters. I'm counting 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so 60 millimeters. All right, I know it's not it's not precise, guys, but yeah, this has a 60 millimeter hub diameter. So this should self-center it. All right, uh, now we'll go check the Evo wheel. Okay, we're going to go check out what the Evos is. We're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of look at the center there I'm gonna lay it down and I got I laid it down on the 13 here all right that looks pretty close and it looks like we're it's kind of tough. this is hard guys this is harder than I thought but it's a uh, one two three four five six six nine 6 6.5 6.57 uh no 6.7 so 60 1 2 3 4 5 6 all right that's 6 so that's 60 65 66 it looks like 67 millimeters all right okay I just checked with another ruler and it looks like it's 67 all right so okay so here's what we got uh, the rear hub is 60 millimeters the prime wheel is 60 millimeters the Evo 8 is 67 so we need like a 7 millimeter uh, spacer or we need a 7 millimeter ring for this to fit perfectly with it okay I've gone here on wheelsize.com, all right, and uh, we've got the XA50 Toyota RAV4 Prime here, and it should give us some specs on the wall. What the heck? Okay, so there's the bolt pattern and all that stuff. Uh, the center bore hub bore is 60.1, all right, so we're pretty close. 60, <laughs> that's so small, man. 60.1. So the, the center hub bore is uh, 60.1. It's, it's clo pretty close to 60, guys. So, um, so we're, I was right, okay? And then now we're gonna go look up the Evo specs. All right, so we're gonna put, I'm just gonna type in Evo 8 wheel hub size. All right, yeah, so stock Evo wheel is 17 by 8, 35 offset. Yeah, all right, and it's a uh, five by 114.3. It's 67 millimeter center bore. There you go. Perfect. So you need a 60 to 67 um, ring. Uh, yeah. Uh, hub hub centric ring is what we need. Okay. So that's the center bore diameter. 67. So I was right. Okay. So it was actually 60.1. All right. But I don't know if that 60.1 makes a difference. <laughs> the, the point one. It's so small, guys. All right. Okay. So I was right. 67 millimeters. So. So uh, it's bigger. We're gonna need a spacer, all right, to fill in that extra um, thing, because that you saw how loose it was when I was moving it around and stuff. So that leads me to believe these wheels will not fit on the Mitsubishi because the hub center bore is smaller, 
all right so they're not gonna fit unless you bore it out or something uh, but the, the good thing is this is bigger one way we can uh, get this thing to fit properly is to put a spacer ring all right so basically I installed it I installed one of my clips all right and you gotta install one if you ever install aftermarket wheels anyway the uh, you're gonna need a ring that goes over this that um, that converts this 60 millimeter hub to a 67 all right it's basically a spacer it's going to space it out all right you just and you just press it in there and then it should line it should line everything up when you install the wheel okay so so yeah uh, we will need a hub centering ring also okay so but the bolt pattern is the same and it looked like it fit fine when it was in there um yeah actually let me put it back in there and let's go look and see if there's anything it infer interferes with but we'll look behind the wheel oh yeah there. okay so there we go i i've got it on there by the way, this is the tire that, this is the same width tire that I will be installing on this, all right? I think some people install 245s. This is a 225. This is actually wider than that. So let's see how everything fits, all right? So, and I think a 235 is, you know, that's the least size you want to run. So it looks like it's not touching the shock or anything. It's not touching the arm. I can't feel it touching the arm, okay? That's how much poke it has. It actually, it doesn't stick out at all, man. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's perfect. See how it it fits nicely within the the mud guard. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. That's how it looks like inside the mud guard. It fits in there perfectly. So a 235 is is good. I mean, a 235 will fit perfectly in there. All right. This is what it looks like from the top. Mind you, I I don't have it on the ground, so it's probably gonna it might squat a little bit. Yeah, it's in there. Like uh, yeah, it's it's flat. Pretty much. Okay, guys. Yeah, it's flush. It's perfect. We could even go wider if we wanted to. Let's okay. take a look at behind it. I'm not it. supposed to. Uh, I'm not supposed to be going underneath the car because I don't have jack stands. But <laughs> the wheel's on there, so that's fine. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any clearance issues. I'm sticking my hand in there. There's nothing. Okay, the brakes clear, fine. I'm worried about the front actually. Is what the about the back. Everything looks good. Everything clear as well. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm sure we'll have plenty of clearance with these low-profile tires, but we won't be installing these. Um, yeah, so we're going to go with a 235. So it actually won't look as... Yeah, it should look like this. Uh, when we put the 235... Actually, if we put the 235 on there... That's right, this is a 235. Look, it's... Um, this wheel stretches, guys. If you notice... Yeah, if you guys notice, this wheel is stretched. There's not a lot of sidewall on this, all right? So hopefully when we install the 235 on this, it, it'll it'll have some sidewall sticking out. What I don't, what we want is like this. We want it to be a little balloony, just a little bit, all right? See, this one sticks out like a quarter inch. You want it to stick out like that, all right? Because you I want protection for the wheel when you drive off-road. All right, this is a sports car tire. It's flat, all right? But it's a 235. That makes, that has me worried Maybe we should have gone with, we should go with a 245 so it's, it's wider, you know? Because this will be easy to curb. Yeah, it looks like it'll be really easy to curb. But um, the other wheels will be taller. Uh, yeah, so this is a 60 and this is a 45. So this is way taller on this tire. So, so maybe it'll balloon out. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a good question. I'll have to look up. So I don't know if we're going to go with a 235 or 245. 245 is flush, man. It's flat. So if you if you were to rub this on the curb, you would probably curb it. That's why there's so many curb marks on this. Um, if you were to rub this on the curb, it would be fine. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, that's a scoop. All right, I'll go take it out now. So it looks like it fits there fine. Uh, the 235 seems like a good size for this, but because it's an inch wider i know we have to be maybe a 245 would be better i'm not sure yeah um, i will have to look it up i'll have to see how a two for uh a 235 looks like on a 17 so i mean he's a mega will have to go do some research about that but i'm so where i'm not i'm kind of conflicted whether we're going to go with a 235 or 245 235 is a good width for the rav4 but i want it to poke out more from the rim that's what i want to say all right so all right i'm gonna go put the other the old wheels back on all right the stock wheels okay 
here we are. So this is uh We'll go check the hub diameter, but I'm pretty sure it's 60 ish. Alright, see oh 60.1, there you go, 60.15. I know if these the lug nuts weren't there, it would be a lot easier, man. I got 60. Lord. You have to have it just right. Well, we got 60.15 last time, so... I got 60 again. Yeah, I don't know why they're saying it's 60.1, dude. 60 again. So, well, I don't know. I'm going to call that 60, guys. <laughs> Okay, so that's the size for the front. I mean, obviously the front and rear are going to be the same, so, but we're just double checking. So 60 millimeters for the hub. Let's go install the wheel. Now the Evo 8 had some huge brakes, all right? So I was expecting this to fit over the brakes. All right, but the, the RAV4 does have some pretty big stoppers itself. I think out of all the RAV4s, the uh, RAV4 Prime has the biggest brakes because it's it's the heaviest, obviously. But it does have regen. So. Oh yeah, so this is what I was talking about. The sticker is fading. See, the blue is fading. The black still looks okay on this one. It's not a one-piece sticker. It's like it's painted on there. Yeah. The other one I got is a sticker, so we'll see how that. That works out, but if we change the, if we get the the wheel repainted, uh, it's they're gonna have to take the sticker off anyway. So I don't really care if it's on there or not, but I I kind of like it on there. So <laughs> all right. So the thing is, it's not centered, so it's hard to get it on there right. Straddle the wheel, pull it so it's the lug nuts are centering it. Don't put it in all the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna gut it. Okay, so there it is, the 17 by 8 on the front. Let's check how much it pokes. Yeah, it's in there a lot. <laughs> yeah, we need some wider tires, man. Um, yeah, there's a lot of. Well, let's. Yeah, well, it's it's fine. It's perfect. It would be nice if the tire stuck out more. We definitely need a wider. I think we need a wider tire, man. But uh, let's check back here. Okay, the mud guard fits it. Oh, it's actually a little small, actually. Yeah, it's fine. It's perfect. Okay, there's from this there's a side view. It's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit inside. So remember these are these are 35 offset and these are 38 offset, right? So this is three this is three millimeters inside more, right? But the wheel is wider. So so like that makes up for it. Okay, let's see. So I'm not feeling any rubbish back here. Alright, I got my hand back there. Alright, no rubbing. I've got there's still a gap. Yeah, there's still a gap. You can see through. Um, yeah, I can still stick almost a finger in there. I can probably stick my pinky in there. Yeah, I can stick my pinky in there. There you go. So there's still plenty of room. All right, it's not super duper close to the the brake um, caliper. Remember, the size of the wheel, the smallest size of wheel you can put on a vehicle is determined by how big your caliper is. Okay, guys, that's why you see a lot of fast cars have really big wheels because they have really big brakes. Okay. Okay, let's get under it real quick. I won't get under it because the jack is holding it up, but I'll take a look. I don't see it rubbing on anything. I don't see it rubbing on the arm. I don't see it rubbing on the tie rod. It'll look good, man. Well, since uh, the the other model, there's other model RAV4s that come with 17, so we'll go under here. Yeah, the shock is not rubbing at all. Okay. I 
pretty sure this is not going to rub on that. Look at how much space there is between that. All right, but yeah, we're good. Um, one thing we might want to do, since this is a 235, it's pretty close, but it's not tall. What we could do is turn the steering wheel to the left and the right and see if it rubs. Let's do that, I guess. Um, yeah, we can't do that with the back because the back doesn't steer, but the front steers. Okay, so we're going to go fire up the car real quick. Okay, we'll just leave it in the park. Okay, I'm going to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. It's really light. Okay. Okay, that's all the way to the left. And we want to make sure in here if it rubs at all, it's not rubbing. Okay, I'm, I'm running my hand down it and I don't feel anything touching. Okay, we can go look in the underneath too. You guys tell me. It looks good. Okay. Um, with the with these tires though. <laughs> that's I know. Remember the but the when we put the real tires on, they're gonna be much taller. So but I don't think it's gonna touch anything. It's not touching the shock. It's not, I, I'm running my hand back here and it's not touching anything. All right, so so now we will go check if the back touches. All right, so we're gonna turn the steering wheel to the other side. Okay, okay there's just this side. You can get a good look in there. Make sure nothing's touching back here. Ooh, that's really close. It's not touching though. Okay, good. I was like the caliper. <laughs> All right, uh, now we want to look back here. Just run my hand back down it. There's, oh yeah, there's not a lot of room, guys. There, see this, the tie rod. Yeah, my finger is just barely touching it. See that? I can barely get my finger through, but yeah, it's fine. All right. Yeah, dude, it almost touches the tie rod. Almost. They're not quite. All right, maybe I don't know what it looks like with the with the stock wheel, but yeah. Okay, so it looks good. There's there's no interference with anything with these tires. The rim almost interferes with the tie rod. Almost like like I can get my finger between it, so that's fine at full lock. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> All right, cool deal. So it looks like it fits. Um, yeah, it's kind of the offset is a little bit inside more. We could we could install a wider tire, man. We got plenty of space. There's plenty of space. There's nothing. It's not going to rub on anything. But yeah, the tires are going to be much taller. So probably this check didn't really work. Isn't going to do much good. <laughs> All right. Because these are low profile tires. All right. But it looks like it looks like it'll be good. So um, I have to decide if I want to go with a 235 or a 245. So because this is a this is an inch wider than this. So but uh, I think the RAV4 prime xse comes with a 19 by 7 or a 19 by 8 i'm not sure but um i think it's the same width man it's just taller you got these skinny ass tires yeah this is a 235 so uh, either a 235 or 245 i think either one will be fine so it looks like we got enough room for both of them okay so there you go so that's the uh that is the uh test fit uh that's the end of our test fit vlog everything fits the only thing that doesn't fit is the um, center hub, all right, the center bore. The center bore is too small on the RAV4. The Evo is uh, is like seven centimeters bigger. So we're gonna have to get a, uh, a hub-centric ring spacer to run these wheels, all right, and then we'll be fine. So, so that test fit uh, is somewhat successful. We just need that spacer and it should be good, all right. Now, when we get the actual wheels for it, they're gonna be much taller, that's what I wanna say, so. I, but I don't think it's gonna we're gonna have any rubbing problems All right okay so there you go uh, that that is that concludes the the Evo 8 uh, test fit vlog thanks for watching uh, let's go for let's go through the numbers real quick one more time all right and this is what we found out the both the front and rear hubs were 60 millimeters actually in the book I mean, actually uh, if you look at the specs it's 60.1 so we'll look for 60.1 but I measured 60, all right. And then the in the Evo, we we also verified it. Uh, we I measured it and I verified it on Google, 67 millimeters, all right. So we're seven millimeters too big, all right. So we need a spacer, and then we'll be good, all right. So that's it. End of vlog. Thanks for watching. Here's me out. <laughs>